we're now going to talk about NADPH. We've talked about one important molecule that plants make, and that's ATP. There's another one. It's called NADPH. We have NADPH, but we have a very different way of making it. Humans involve the pentose phosphate pathway in malic enzyme. Plants do it through a very different mechanism. They're actually going to do it through an enzyme that you can't really see over here, but it's through ferredoxin and NADP+. And the enzyme is called ferredoxin NADP plus reductase. All right? The, the actual mechanism of this is less important, but suffice it to say, electrons are going to transfer, be transferred from ferredoxin one at a time, and then they're ultimately going to both go onto NADP plus, and you're going to get NADPH. All right? It turns out that this electron acceptor, NADP plus, is the final electron acceptor in photosynthesis. All right? This brings up an interesting point, all right, between photosynthesis and cellular respiration, which is what you talked about in the mitochondria. You have often heard, and probably more in general biology, that photosynthesis is the reverse of cell respiration. Now, look at this picture. Is it really the exact opposite? If it were the exact opposite, then you would literally see just the reverse reactions. Well, you don't see that, okay? But something that's interesting to note, what was the initial electron donor in cell respiration? It was NADH. Go back and watch the playlist. Look in your biochem textbook and you'll see that the initial electron donor was NADH. That reduction was catalyzed by NADH dehydrogenase. NADH is the initial electron donor there. NADPA. NADP is the final electron acceptor. All right, let's reverse it. What is the initial electron donor in photosynthesis? Water. What is the final electron acceptor in cell respiration? Oxygen. They basically are sort of reverses of each other. All right? In cell respiration, we go from oxygen to water. In photosynthesis, we go from water to oxygen. In cell respiration, we go from NADH to NAD. And in photosynthesis, we go from NADP to NADPH. Although there is that difference between NAD and NADP, it's basically just the reverse. Okay. Compare the structure of NADH and NADPH. They're basically identical except for a phosphate. All right. So mechanistically, in the middle of the pathway, it's not the, just the reverse of cell respiration, but overall, the net reactions are almost exactly opposite. Now, here's the key. FNR, or ferredoxin NADP reductase, reduces NADP plus to NADPH. This NADPH right here is going to be used ultimately by the Calvin cycle, which is a part of the light-independent reactions. And I'm going to end with, the, with this slide right here. We saw in another video that ATP is produced through ATP synthase through photophosphorylation. That fuels the Calvin cycle. Ferredoxin NADP reductase forms NADPH, which fuels the Calvin cycle. The whole purpose of the light-dependent reactions is to make ATP and NADPH so that the light-independent reactions, i.e. the Calvin cycle, can make sugar. So in the next set of videos, we're going to look at the light independent reactions and see that their major function is to make sugar.